unbelievable. It's, there's part of me, and I think it's because my mom was a nurse, but there's part of me that wants to walk. You guys, I'm not gonna lie. Between natural disasters, work problems, my car getting broken into, and on top of that, hormonal migraines, I have had a week already. I did a little stress clean, which always helps me clear my head. I had a sound bath and I hit reset so I could show up for you this week. So let's just do what we do best here and we're gonna get crafty and we're gonna create something magical. Welcome to a new week with me and uh, let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome back to another week. My hair is wild today, it's wild. Let me give it an extra little fluff. I did my vintage curls, <sighs> but um, so yeah, the car got broken into, we've got some stuff going on, things are dramatic, there's a lot going on. I'm feeling like, you know, therapy is such a huge help to me for that. So I, you know, if you have the access to a therapist, get somebody on your team, you know? You have to breathe it, that nasty, weight that you have in your stomach you need to breathe it out because you can't let that fester it will stress you the heck out so that's something i did yesterday as you saw i meditated a little bit up here but as you know one of the things i do to calm down is craft <laughs> We love to craft. So we're gonna be making a craft this week. I'm sewing something and I'll show you what that is later. Probably already said it in the title. Um, yeah, I said it in the title so I could just say it. So we're doing a craft. I'm gonna be sewing an apron. I've really wanted to use this pattern that I got thrifting ages back and I think it'd be really fun to finally do one. So without further ado, let's just show the um, ways I'm going to keep myself calm this week. Here's what I'm wearing. I'm just going for a little floral H&M whatnot and these jeans are actually I think Old Navy. I want to say that I have really no intention on ever doing this again but I ordered my first and last thing ever off of Timu. I will say though they had collars for super cheap and I wanted them to see if I can use them as patterns. And these were, I think, a dollar, like an actual dollar for these adorable collars. I mean, I'm just telling you, like, this is cuter than what I could have made. <laughs> so for a dollar, I had to. And I could try to recreate it now, but I just feel like if you're looking for a really affordable place to buy, buy collars to use as patterns, I think my total with, I don't know if they were shipping or what, but my total was $5 for both. Okay. I've always wanted a black one. <laughs> you guys, I didn't want to like them. But if they're going to make them so affordable, you know? And when you're on a budget and you want a cheap collar and you want to get in on the collar game, just don't tell anybody where you bought it. And if you're wondering, the lipstick I'm wearing is called... American Woman by NARS. Just really been into like rose because my tan is completely off now. I'm like straight up just my white, pale, normal self. As you can see, I am home and completely changed. I tried going, I just, it wasn't in the cards. I'm one of those people that says I want to go do things and then my introvertness and my agoraphobia tells me like I don't want to go so even though I was feeling anxious about like leaving my house and wanting to go do things and then I end up not going so I'm kind of like let down by my my own I'm like could you have just gone <laughs> and just I don't know I don't know what to think so I'm feeling emotional about it and I want to go work it out so I'm going to get on the treadmill and run which is another thing that I do to make myself feel better. And if you guys remember, I thrifted these amazing pants. I'm 50. I'm 50 years old. About to kick, stretch, and kick. I'm 50. <laughs> you guys know that character? That's what these pants make me think of. Look at my little pooch. It's kind of cute. I've been doing sit-ups more regularly. Um, I don't, this is, I don't have a six pack, uh, which is fine. And I'm 50 years old. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go work out. I stopped by the grocery store and got some stuff to make dinner. I'm doing Philly cheese steaks, but with vegan steak, stuffed bell peppers. So it's like Philly melts like you would have on bread, but it's inside of a stuffed bell pepper. I got the recipe off of this. I was trying to do like high protein, low carb, diet stuff so i keep getting a lot of keto recipe suggestions and so all week i've been making keto i'm not keto but i do enjoy the keto uh recipes out there because they are just like really creative you know and avoid bread and all that so that's what i'm gonna make tonight but i'm gonna go hit the gym oh but i wanted to show you something one of the main things that i was talking about in therapy was how essential oils are so good for sensory memory and so i ordered bergamot Look at that packaging. Don't use undiluted on skin. Turn on your diffuser, breathe and enjoy. I wanted it to be skin safe. You can dilute it, I suppose. Maybe you can mix it with the carrier oil. And then I have also the vetiver may jam on it, but the packaging is cool. Yeah, this is vetiver, it says it on the side. I can't tell if I could put that one on my skin either. Vetiver. Yum. They're both good. This is one of those things where you're like, there is no fragrance notes. It's just bergamot. Bergamot. <laughs> Breathe in and enjoy. <laughs> Give it to me. Vetiver. Let me try that one again. This, you know what um, the vetiver reminds me of is the um, shoe guys entire store. <laughs> smells just like vetiver. It smells like cigar leather. I had no idea that that's what vetiver was. Okay, I'm going to the gym. Blah, blah, blah. I feel relaxed. It, it's working. <laughs> morning. Can we just talk about how this is that really tight curl from two days ago, just slowly making its way down my face <laughs> from sleeping on it. <laughs> Can we just talk about that? Because it looks really cute on day three and this is heatless. So it's a freaking miracle that this is how my hair can look after a few days of not washing it because honestly I my goal is to not wash my hair but maybe every four days three four days but I just wanted to say that today is crafting day we're going to put on some tv some movie something cozy the fireplace light a candle and we're gonna make a homemade apron out of thrifted materials so you know me i love going to the thrift store and finding various fabrics why didn't i bring it over here with me that was weird anyway it's a vintage apron pattern i'm actually not even open to see which ones are in here i think they're yeah they're different this is obviously the one that i will want to make this one looks pretty easy too, but come on. <laughs> Look at the ruffles in the pockets with the ruffles. That's just so cute. This is definitely me and I'm going to make this one. Why? This looks, this chick looks familiar. Who does she look like? Oh, she looks like the Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh gosh. What is her name? Sally Field. Yay! I did it. And then check out this fabric. Is that not so pretty? I've probably shown you this before and it's like an orangey autumnal beautiful orangey like what's what would be a, a really fun word for this because you know how when you say orangey it just sounds stupid what is the name for I don't have the brain today I don't it, it doesn't want to think of anything it's overwhelmed and then I have a bag of various um, things that we can put around the ruffling of this I have this is really pretty it's a little bit fancy so I'm like is this too fancy but look at how pretty that is wouldn't that be pretty around the bottom of it so we'll uh we'll get everything downstairs and kind of chat that through but I'm excited I'm excited to do some crafty stuff with you guys today pocket look guys we have a pocket <laughs> I don't know what kind of witchery people do to get the patterns folded back the way that they're supposed to be folded back. I struggle with that so hard. It's like, 
Okay, so here's what we're looking at. I have the biggest piece needed to make this one. The only other thing I have for it is what's called the ruffle guide, which would be like, you know, the ruffling that you're gonna put around it, which I technically don't really need. The one piece that I need that's missing is the back. I'm such an idiot. Okay, look, 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 look. First of all, when it said A on it and it was folded the way they had it folded and pre-cut, come back to me. Focus, focus. I opened it up. I thought it was just A because they pre-cut so many pieces. I didn't know if I opened A up, I would see the pocket is in here, the tie is in here, and then when I thought this was only G, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but when I thought this was only one thing, look, look, C is in here. That's what I needed for the back. Perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. So now I have all the pieces that I need to make the apron that I wanted to make. But you can also just take an apron you already have and just cut out the fabric to, you know, your liking and size and follow this as closely as you can. A lot of things I do are based off of Things I already own, as you know, I'll take dresses and just kind of model things after that. So, yeah. I gave the fabric a little steam. I took a fabric marker and traced out the pattern, gave it a cut. One of my toxic traits is that I don't like to follow direction because sometimes it wants me to do things that I don't fully understand and that's when I need to look up like what they're talking about or it's saying to use something that I don't have. So, or like what I have won't work the way that they're saying to do it. So for instance, I have this ruffling and it's got this really long part to it. So I'll have to cut that off a little bit. So I have some room for the pockets, but what I'm gonna do is press the pocket and then double press it and stitch it once. I need to do this once. So I'm, I, I'm gonna iron it. So I consider doing the elastic like they did for the pocket with this one. I just thought that was so cute. So I'm probably gonna still do the elastic. <laughs> Look at my little pocket. It almost looks like a little hobbit satchel. And now attaching the back. You will soon see this is where I made a terrible mistake. I went around the raw edge with fabric tape and added the ruffle. This took longer than I expected, so I called it a day, made some dinner, and decided to wind down a bit. We'll see you tomorrow. I am ready, I am dressed and ready to go. My brows have been lightened. I just have a little bit of um, like penciling in, but they look a lot lighter, which I love. And I actually did a little bit of like a pumpkin halo, which I'm having fun with. I do this look a lot in this um, season, like this time of year. And so using the, I'm back to using all my old Morphe palettes. I just hate stuff ha dying a slow death in my makeup cabinet back here so I just want to make sure I'm pulling things out and using them so I don't know what happened here but I've got this color right here which is this really lovely deep deep orangey brown very pumpkin very pumpkin it went on really bright too I was surprised and then like as the crease kind of blend I did a deeper chocolate so that it had a little dimension and I did like a halo look. I think it's fun, something fun. Hey, fun, it's a good time. And then we just have on the, the, the Lip For You by Natasha Denona and Moff on the lips. And that is the look. Also, while I was ripping my storage apart looking for my iron, I found this. Look, that's something I can craft. I don't know what, but I think if I look at it long enough, like sometimes I just set a craft out and I'll stare at it until something comes to mind. I think it'd be kind of fun to do something with that. So 
I also have a bunch of errands to run, um, dog food, groceries, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing, but something I want to try to find at the thrift store if I can is like a painting. I want to see about painting little spooky ghosts and things into it. I've seen people doing that on Pinterest. Okay, here's what we're looking at with the apron. As you can see, the shape is incredibly cute. You know, if I can get this to tie around the back, look at that shape. So this is the back and I sewed it upside down. This is supposed to be up here. Now I've already sewn all this on, so it's kind of too late. I could take it apart up here and try to figure that out. I've considered it, but that's a big rework. To me, this strap size looked like it fit the strap size to this way better than the other way. The other way it didn't look right, so it didn't make sense. But now that I see it on, I'm like, oh yeah, I would have, it would have fit better. <sighs> now it's all like low cut. <laughs> like I did not need a low cut apron. I did it. The apron is done and I did end up seam ripping the shoulders and flipping it around because I just knew that that design was going to look so much cuter the original way that it was intended than me trying to rework it. And I gotta say you don't really notice too much of a difference. So here's the finished apron. Duh! It's so cute. Look at how like it pulls in at the waist. I love that. I wish the ruffles here like were a little bit, um, that the problem is, is that these ruffles are cotton and so they don't have stretch. So they don't really turn the corner very good. I love that I did the elastic. So as you can see, it needed flipped. And then the only thing you see where the ruffling goes from skinny down to thicker, it's cause it's upside down. <laughs> so please ignore that. I don't know if anybody will, I could fill the gap in. Maybe I can just fill that gap in with more ruffling. Job well done for the most part. Learn some lessons, definitely pay attention before you do something as important as putting two pieces together. <laughs> like, watch what you're doing, girl. Here's today's outfit. Love this little mustard dress. And some combat boot styles, booties. I think, who made these, Steve Madden? Something like that. And a harness, of course, because what else? I am still on the hunt for a dark green velvet dress. Look, it's a Hocus Pocus costume. That'd be cute if I ever dressed up. I searched the frames, but I didn't have any luck, so I'm going to postpone this one till next time. Ice cream machine or butter churn? What do you think? What is going on here? This record needs to calm down. Loved this and the little bow on it. I regret not getting it. And Christmas has arrived. Holy cow. Who's ready? I can't believe I have the air conditioning on in October. I don't like it when it's busy. I get overwhelmed. Like I couldn't even get to anything. There's just someone in every spot. But I mean, I did poke around. All I ended up getting is this. Look at her. <gasps> Look at her. She's so adorable. I googled her. She's like worth 50 bucks. Uh, so she's $2.99. But I'm not selling her. She's mine, baby. Hi, I'm the new addition to Sienna's beauty room. Aren't I a doll? <laughs> and then there's all this like cool detail under here to help you kind of like understand where she came from and that's all i got other than i had to know what this freaking tastes like what the heck is pumpkin pie m ms pumpkin pie the color matters um what's this then whipped cream i think collectively you get one of every color and you got yourself a bite of pie. Okay, it's pretty good actually. I was expecting that to be really gross. First thing we need to do is make pumpkin oat bars. Obviously, we will need the apron, which is hanging back here. The design is really unique. 
I like it. I mean, most aprons obviously are not as complex. I don't love this, so I'm thinking actually about like cutting them and doing something around it that's not this because this is driving me crazy. But I love the elastication. And we are protected from the elements. dogs are fed, kitchen is tidied, the freaking Mexican hot chocolate coffee mate. And this is delicious. <laughs> But what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this pumpkin. I think I wanna do a really cool retro pumpkin on it. But yeah, this pumpkin I feel like is the design I'm going for. It's super cute and he looks very retro. So I'm gonna go with that one. And it's actually a pumpkin container that you can buy on Amazon, but I just like it <laughs> for my design I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try to make this look kind of like that. I used acrylic paint and my hat trick, stippling with a makeup sponge. I layered the colors back and forth from green to neon orange for contrast. Now it's time to add the details. I steadied my wrist with my hand to get a straighter line. The eyes and mouth are a very classic happy face. I remember drawing this style back when I was a kid on all of my Trapper Keepers. Just letting it dry off, but I gotta say, he's pretty dang cute. <laughs> he looks scared instead of happy. The other one looked a little happier than this but I'm gonna let this dry and go cut my pumpkin bars and see how they taste cold. I like, I'll have to get some more stuff, I think. And then we've got our little Madame over here. Gotta give her a name, still don't know. Maybe because she's, you know, a lady of leisure. She would be having her tea. She looks like she's got back pain. <laughs> me, <laughs> it's me right there. It is such a beautiful day out. I've got all the windows and doors open. I'm just enjoying the birds and the breeze. It's glorious. Anyway. That's it. The pumpkin is done. It's hanging with care. <laughs> and my oatmeal bars are done and delish. They're pretty good. I, I, they're a little bit like oatmeal-y and I guess that's what they are supposed to be, but I think I'm more of a granola girl over oatmeal. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this week. Uh, thank you so much. Subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.